Haha, <laughs> now you're getting addicted. Hey everybody, welcome back to Danganronpa V3, Killing Harmony, and today, we are going to begin our first trial. Yeah, um, I've, I've been thinking after yesterday, and well, yeah, I mean, obviously I still can't guess who the killer could be, honestly. This, this one's nearly impossible, I think. But I do remember Rontaro saying that he was going to end this game somehow. And I can't help but wonder if this, or his death, I mean, is part of his plan somehow. You know? I don't think so? But, I don't know, I just find it strange how the door, the hidden door was like, right there, you know? It was, it was closing right after his death, like, I don't know. It's just a strange timing. So yeah, anyways, I mean, I, I can't figure anything out at, by uh, just talking bl blindly like this, so... Without further ado, let's begin part 5 of Killing Harmony. Oh boy. Oh yeah, Kaede was like, Oh, Rontaro! What are you doing? Uh, you made a mess. Yeah. Okay, you can get up now. What in the world? What the hell is going on? Oh, I thought that was Shuichi's voice. I was like, what? Uh, 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 I mean... <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm trying to live... I'm trying to liven up the mood. Wow, um... I'm just glad Tenko's not like, eh. He was a male. <laughs> I'm glad she actually cares. That's good. So she does have feelings for males, somewhat at least. Right after Tango's scream, the front door of the library burst... Oh, oh, I thought said the hidden door burst open. I was like, holy shit, what? And the four people who were in the game room rushed in. Only four? Oh, God. Dude, if Angie... If Angie continues to smile, like... What happened? Oh my God, is it dead? I'm... I'm gonna smack her. Don't hear her scream! Ugh! Oh, <laughs> huh? Ah! Yep. So much blood! Oh my god, are you... Are you serious? Oh, does she not see it? Oh, me, oh my. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing she doesn't know that he's dead yet, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Isn't that Rantaro? What's wrong with him? He's just, uh, he just fainted from, I don't know. I, 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 what, 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 uh, what other explanation could there be? I, 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 you don't know? He's dead. Huh? Bruh. He's dead? Well, that's unfortunate. Thank you, Gonta. Can you be so calm? You just disappear. Oh, examine. Okay. Place his hand close to his mouth to check for breathing. And he's dead. Yeah, we're too late. Oh, man. But I, I... The kill is fresh, though. It has to be. There's no way. Unless if Sumugi was cosplaying as Rontaro. Nah. <laughs> Dude, I'm sussing Sumugi way too much, I feel like. Too late? You mean dead? Are you serious? I mean, what? A no, he's just—he's—he's he's faking it. It's just ketchup, guys. It's just. What the hell? Are you? Wait, are you, I. What's Himiko's reaction though? Besides nye? is that really just it? She's just like nye? <laughs> what the sh? <laughs> what is happening, dude? I. I my vision began to swirl. My legs wobbled beneath me, right? That's the normal reaction. But out of sheer desperation, I kept my mind working. I mean, he was a bit creepy, to be honest, but like... I wanted to know more about him, though. I mean, but then again, it's my fault for not spending time with him, but... Can you really blame me? I mean, they're, every single characters are, like, so tempting to talk with. Why was Rontaro here? Ooh, good question. Good question! Because everyone was supposed to be at the game room, right? 
Oh wow, I never thought of that. Holy shit. I feel like this was Rantaro's plan. But he said she wanted to end the killing game, not I was gonna end the... Ki was, was there a trick in his words? Like I was gonna finish the killing game by killing myself? No, that doesn't make sense. Because technically he doesn't have to deal with the killing game anymore, so I don't know if that's what he meant, but I doubt it. And... The monitor is off? Oh, she's talking about the little creepy music thing. Okay. It was no longer displaying Monokuma. So that means every single time that thing is being played, some someone died. Or someone's about to die. I wonder which one. Does that mean the mastermind is dead? <laughs> ah, you're so funny, Kaede. Ah. Yeah, that has to be it. This means... <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Um, <laughs> it's just the thought of it is just <laughs> way too funny. Well, this means the killing game has started, huh? Okay, I thought she said the killing game ended. I was like, nah. Huh? Huh? What? The killing game? Then someone killed Rontarian. Uh, Wait, maybe not. I don't get it. What do you mean, maybe not? Um, maybe the killing game hasn't started. Maybe this just ended it. Oh dear lord. What? Ended it? What do you mean? Because... The mastermind! Ron Taro was the ma- Wait. Okay, I understand what Kaede is saying. So she thinks Ron Taro came out, not go in. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. So, okay. But then... What about the Iron Ball? Did Shuichi and- when did she no, Shuichi and Kaede didn't set up the Iron Ball though, right? No, we never talked about it. Like, I I'm thinking this is what happened, like, it, like, low chance, but... Rontero came out of the door, but then somehow that triggered a trap to not just activate the camera, but somehow, like... The Iron Ball just flies, you know, like, to the Mastermind and kill it. Kill him, I mean. But that wasn't the plan, though, right? I, okay. Huh? The mastermind. Uh, um, I don't know how he died. Right. Sh so Shuichi doesn't know, so it can't be. But if Rantaro wasn't the library before the time limit ended, right? That's true. There's a high chance that the mastermind planned this, and if he's dead, but again, the mastermind can't kill. What? I But then the only one possible of setting up the trap, that iron ball, if it's even a trap made by us, is Kaede. Or someone else did it. But the only possibility is Mew. Because she could have, like, set up the little thing, like, like, while making the camera without Shuichi and Kaede knowing. You know what I mean? Like, she could have added that hidden mechanic. But no, that would make her the suspect like way too easily though. So nah. Huh? Oh right, three or more people. A body has been discovered. Oh, that looks really good. Oh, I like his. I like this old voice better. A body has been discovered. Everyone, <laughs> please gather in the library. Yeah, I mean, I have to admit, I like his old voice better. But I mean, I can't complain. Oh boy. What the? <laughs> that was nice. Oh, I'm glad. What a relief! A murder took place just before time ran out. We had like an hour though. Huh? Oh well, I mean, yeah, that is kind of tight. But how? <laughs> I gotta admit, I was a little nervous there because the killing game hadn't started yet. Right. You guys really not to keep me in suspense. Uh, how? The mastermind controlling you? Oh, <laughs> I forgot Kaede thinks like that. Still thought of that. My mastermind? Do you mean the real mastermind who's controlling you? You think it was Rantaro? <laughs> <How stupid. laughs> right. What an imagination. Of course that's wrong. <laughs> the mastermind had died, this killing game will be over, right? That's wrong. Hey, um... The victim was Rantaro Amami. The ultimate who cares? <laughs> Wait. That's not his actual title, right? That doesn't even make sense. Nothing more, nothing less. Huh? 
What, what are you talking about? Uh, Shuichi, what does he mean? What's gonna happen? Well, Monokuma's about to explain, so listen up. No. Monokuma's wrong, isn't he? Isn't Rontaro the mastermind? Wow. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I mean, it makes sense for the detective to think that too, because both of them think they came out. I always, I like, I thought the mastermind was going in, though. That's why I was like, in the last episode, like, what are you guys doing? Like, like hurry up and try to go in huh? with them or something, I don't know. Yeah, we came here as soon as the sensor went off, right? Uh, well, I think you gave the mastermind plenty of chance or plenty of time to, like, get out or get into the hidden room, though. No one else was in the library. Rontaro was the only one who could have moved the bookcase. Wouldn't that mean he was trying to use the hidden door and that he was the mastermind? No. But if he was the mastermind, why is the killing game not over? Right. Uh, um... I mean, you're not gonna mention the Iron Ball, though? Why is he dead? Uh, I guess they don't see the ball yet. Eh. It's no use. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, that Iron Ball can't be any... <laughs> Shuichi? Uh. The pictures, we can... Thank you. I'm sure that the cameras were set up in the library will give us a clue. The library door swung wide open, and the rest came in, I'm guessing. <coughs> See, that's a normal reaction. Oh, no. oh, for a second I thought his nose was gone. <laughs> but why? Really? Th that's Rantaro? Oh, thank god. What? I thought that was a pile of dirty ra- What? I'm sorry, am I misreading this? Like, I- I see. <laughs> of course, I mean, this guy, I'm not surprised. So this ended up happening after all. <laughs> my, my, what a world this is. So full of jokes like this. How? Yeah, this world is a joke. This is a lie, right? My dearest Rontaros. Do I wanna- do I wanna know what he says after this? He's gonna say, nee -he -he. Oh. <laughs> oh, I mean... <laughs> oh my god, hold on. <laughs> hold on, sorry. Um... Well, what? This is a lie, right? My dearest Rontaro is the- Oh, I mean... WAS KILLED! <laughs> Stop it. That's the same thing. <laughs> I wanna see that animated dude. Wait, why don't they have the animation version of this, actually? Well, then again, Goodbye Despair doesn't have one either. Well, technically they do, they're in good- I mean, well, whatever. I don't know. How ironic. The guy who wanted to live ended up dead. But is that true, though? Maybe he wanted to- Well, he didn't want to die, but I, I, I think he was willing to sacrifice himself, I feel like. And the guy who wanted to die survived. Uh, so, can somebody explain the meaning of all this? Well, you see, somebody- Well, Rantaro died. That's what happened. <laughs> nah, an explanation isn't necessary. Wait, I totally forgot about- Wait, 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 no, there is no class trial. Wait, I forgot about that. Wait, what? Then chapter one is over. Thanks to the first blood perk, there won't be a class trial. So that'd just be a waste of time. Go ahead. <laughs> With that said, if you're the blackened who killed Rontaro, raise your hand. <laughs> what? What? Nah, they're not gonna do that. The one who killed Rontaro? Degenerate male. Seriously. <laughs> I knew it! A degenerate male killed Rantaro, didn't he? Wait. How do you know boy do it? I won't forgive you! I just know, okay? Violent crimes are almost al almost always committed by violent, disgusting men. Damn. <laughs> Dumbass. Okay, so because all these characters are saying he, that means the killer is a she. Yeah, there's too many girls to think. Who the hell did it? I'll freaking punch you into orbit! Yeah, no. <laughs> Don't get so angry. Send off your graduating classmate with warm farewells. For real? You- you- you're actually- Is he actually gonna just graduate one- one person just like that? 
It's getting interesting. I totally forgot there's no trial in this. We're sending him off with the hostility like a bunch of catty pot uh, whatever. But if it's gonna disrupt the process, then we're gonna burst bust out the exit cells. Oh no, look at a nasty dead bot. I mean you're looking at one. I think it'd be so crashing a funeral is way better than wedding crashing. I'll throw in a wedding uh, okay. Uh, whoever did this really gets to graduate, huh? I'm a real stickler for the rules. Right, he is though. I'm also tough on convenience store. <laughs> My heart's racing. What the black and who's about to graduate, please raise their hand. Nah. They're not gonna do that. Hold on, how many people are here? Four, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. What? No one's raising their hand? You bastards! Did you hear me? All the black and has to do graduate is speak up, you know? Right? Unless if they don't believe in Monokuma, but then they wouldn't have participated in going into the game room to like strategize and all that if they didn't believe in Monokuma in the first place. So why? No one's stepping forward? What's going on? Suicide? No. I see how it is. The Blacken has no need for the first blood perk. They would rather do a cl What? Why? Oh. Excuse me? Oh. Very well, the- Psycho -pop. I will give the black and what they want and hold the class trial. Oh. Wow. It's getting hold on. Spicy twist. What the heck's going on? Got it. Like we said before, we're gonna hold the class trial so you bastards can find Rentaro's killer. So. Get it right and only the black and will be punished. But if you get it wrong... <laughs> Simultaneous surgery! Brain and need them brain surgery again. Everyone besides the black and will be punished. Wait, what? Is that true? Like, the black and really wants a trial? What? I, why would they want that? Everyone besides the black and... Everyone... This outcome is much worse. The culprit should have just stepped forward. Seriously, why didn't they? Unless if the Blacken just wants to kill everyone. What? Thrills, chills, kills. But before we can hold a class trial, you gotta investigate first. If you don't investigate the murder, you won't be able to argue over who did it. <laughs> it's a male! So you were saying we need to do the investigation ourselves? Well, yeah. <laughs> Monokuma's not gonna do it for you. Of course, the investigation is what makes the killing game so good. You guys are gonna investigate this crime and cover the truth. Well, Shui Chief, it's your chance to shine. The black and his handiwork has made this much more entertaining than I expected. The class trial will begin soon, so please give the investigation your all. <laughs> Kokichi. <laughs> you know, I really do wish I could cry like that at will, though. Alright! <laughs> this mother. <laughs> okay. Let's get going then! Yeah! What? Let's look at some dead bodies! W where do we start? The penis! I mean, um, yeah, uh, Don't you get it? we're looking for the truth of Rontaro's death, right? <laughs> if we can't figure out who the culprit is, then we'll be annihilated for sure. Huh? I, I don't want to be annihilated! The girls should be allowed to live at least. <laughs> what if all the girls die? Yo, that would really suck. That would be true dis despair. Why is Himiko's reaction so weird? I I don't know. Like at first I thought Himiko was cute, but like now I'm kind of scared of her. I'm just a cute. I mean, she kind of is normal. Hmm, girl who can use magic, you know? <laughs> why you? I don't know why. All right, <laughs> you're the last person who should be calling yourself cute. Do not fret. Just imagine this as something out of police drama or detective manga. Like Conan? Do you agree? Right, Shuichi. What? Uh, okay. Yeah, uh, what? Impossible! <laughs> I'm in trouble! I've never watched police dramas or read detective mangas. Can't you just like process information, like, I don't know, by scanning the book, I guess? <laughs> Let's see. 
Well, there's no need to hit things so hard. We need only converse with a corpse. <laughs> wow, a corpse is not simply a dead person. This is just an assumption made by the living. Wonderful. Oh my god. <laughs> By coming face to face with the corpse, you will learn a great... Oh, I think said nasty. Many things. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why are you getting excited? You're not into dead bodies, are you? I bet Shuichi it. Nah, I don't know. Actually... But is it true? Is one of us really the culprit? Hmm. The odds are 1 in 15. That shouldn't be hard to figure out. Uh... You sure about that? Don't screw around. That's not the problem here. Who is the freaking culprit, huh? Is it you? Maybe it's you. <laughs> just ev just point at everybody. Uh... Oh my god. This girl is weird. Bro, like... <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. He died. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who's the killer? Only up to a nose. <laughs> weird. You know kids do that way. How weird. Exciting. Everyone's competing to see who's the most paranoid. Oh my god, that's actually true, yo. That is actually true. All of you are crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's not boring. That's wrong. Wait, wait, stop. We can't do this. We can't go back and forth accusing each other. Uh, um... For now, we need to trust each other and start a serious investigation. With these guys, oh my god, dude. It, it feels like it feels like we have like ten Yasu heroes, but they're actually like I don't know, smart. In their own weird ways. Seriously though, I, I still don't understand how Yasu Hero is like an ultimate. <laughs> Anyways, um Huh? Hey. If we all lose our trust in one another because of this, it's all over. We have to believe in each other and investigate this case. Huh? Investigating is the same thing as not trusting each other. Hmm? Well, to a certain degree, I suppose, but no. Yeah, it's completely diff different from what Monokuma wants us to do. He wants us to throw accusations at one another and lose all trust in each other. But we can't let him get what he wants. Well, it's already happened, though. <laughs> we need to investigate this murder. Not because we don't trust each other, but because we do. Let's go, Shuichi. I guess some of Kaede rubbed off on him. That's good. That's really good. Where's Kokichi? Oh, oh there he is. <laughs> Did he disappear? Hmm. Did I say something wrong? Nah, everyone's like... Mm, my man. <laughs> you were just so direct and assertive. Uh, um, like me. Uh, no, I was just so what was on my mind. Yeah. You really are the detective. Now that we need to investigate, you're becoming super reliable. Right. He really is, though. I agree with Shuichi. Actually, you just said exactly what I was gonna say. Didn't he say that before? I swear. <laughs> Males are degenerate creatures who so betray others easily. I don't trust you this time. That's good. The only thing good about males is that girls give birth to them. <laughs> okay, um... Allow Gonta. Wow. Gonta not smart. Not sure Gonta be much help, but Gonta do his best for everyone. I... Yeah, I really like Gonta. I will work hard with Atua's guidance. Okay, girl. Um. Honestly, though, no, Angie? I don't know. I feel like she's kind of useless. <laughs> Just saying, I, I, I'm i sorry if there are Angie fans here. I'm much happier alive than dead anyway. No, oh, okay. That's right. As novice investigators, logic dictates that we work together rather than give in to paranoia. Really? Do my best. <laughs> if this is what everyone desires, then I shall give this task my all. <sighs> I'm sorry, I just I, I, I just love Kirby right now. Okay. I, and this... Uh, this mofo, dude. I, I, just, I feel like this guy is going to be somehow become the most useful because i he's definitely the nagito but this guy's gonna lie in a trial just like nagito but like he's i feel like he's a better liar than nagito no nagito doesn't even lie he just purposefully makes it worse but oh god this is gonna suck i'll find the culprit in no time you know i wouldn't be surprised if he knows already honestly goodness gracious Phew, I'm glad. No one's given up yet. Mm. Yeah, of course they haven't. I can't change what has already happened. All I can do is what, what is what must be done. Otherwise, Rontaro will die for nothing. Mm. I have to do it. I won't give up. We'll all escape from here. I'll make sure of it. Well oh god. Well, let's get started. Yes. We need to do this so poor Rontaro won't have any regrets. And so we can survive. Okay. Alright, let's find the culprit who killed Rontaro. Yeah. Let's do it! 
Thank you, Shuichi. Oh, dude. So much has happened in such a short time and I haven't been able to keep up with everything. But I know that I need to fight back against this class trial to protect everyone. Oh, God. These two are just... You know, I'm gonna say it. These two are probably better couples than Hajime and Chiaki. I'm just saying. I mean... Yeah. Because, like, I don't know. I do, I do ship Hajime and Chiaki, but, like... And I'm sorry for saying this, but like I feel like sometimes Hajime doesn't deserve Chiaki, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> hmm, this isn't quite the mood I was expecting, but... Oh, it's okay. At least now you guys seem like you're getting into it. That's what she said. Ah! You again? The f <laughs> Are you doing here? <laughs> Don't be so crude. I've come to bring you all a wonderful present. These no um... Oh, yeah, the investigation thing, yeah. I forgot what it was called. What is that face? Did she make that face before? How do you even do that? <laughs> I don't even... This is giving me the heebie-jeebies! Right, the Monokuma file, that's what it's called. A notebook that will kill anyone whose name is... Now they're making a Death Note reference? Oh my god. The Death Note... <laughs> Oops, my bad. There's a Monokuma file. You did that on purpose, didn't you? Why does Sumiki uh, look like she wanted that, though? Hmm. <laughs> the Monokuma file is a detailed report that summarizes all the info about the dead body. But there's no info that would point to the black end because that would ruin the trials. Right, right. Let's all get along. I don't know. Maybe you guys will find it useful since you're not experienced investigators, you know. Besides Shuichi. Monokuma file? Like hell am I gonna believe something he made? No. Well, he hasn't lied about anything so far, though, so... Whether you believe it or not, it would still be prudent to examine his contents, no? I yes, ma'am! No, oh, shut... <laughs> I don't know why I hate Angie. I just... I, I think I'm just creeped out by her. He says we shouldn't take our eyes off the monopad. <laughs> Atua also says that Angie is the killer. Yeah, I think we should read it. This file has all the info about the victim. I don't know what it says. Oh. The victim is Rantara Mami. It doesn't say what his ultimate talent is. <laughs> Monokuma said ultimate. Who cares? Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. He's 5'10"? Damn. Okay. Uh, sorry. It doesn't say... Yeah. The victim's body was discovered in the library. Got hit in the head. Why is it always just like a smack in the head? Wait, hold on. Chihiro. Kifumi. <laughs> Taka. Who else? Was that it? No. Mahiru. I don't know. <laughs> the estimated time of death is 9 10 p.m. Oh, that's important. Um. Oh god, I don't know what time uh everyone was going downstairs, but I'm assuming it's around that time. The victim was subjected to blunt force trauma and to the back of the skull. Jeez, where have I heard that from? Resulting in cranial fractures and immediate death. Damn. No other injuries were detected. Oh, that's a relief. Wait, why haven't why aren't we checking the cameras yet? <laughs> oh, I guess we're about to though. It doesn't say whether or not he's the mastermind. Well, that's so obvious. But the killing game is still going on, so I'm gonna assume he wasn't, right? If Rantaro wasn't the mastermind, then who is? Actually. I know it's a little late, but seeing this makes it real... Rantaro is really- oh, really? That's right. <laughs> this is the Mastermind's fault. No doubt about it. No, that's not true. The Mastermind killed Rantaro? That's, that's not true. I'm sorry, what are we talking about? Please. Kaede, please explain what is going on and spare us no detail. Oh, yeah. please. Yeah, I will. I'm pretty sure one of the rules says you can't, yeah. Shuichi and I explained to everyone. We told them about the possibility of the Mastermind hiding among us, and about the trap we had set in the library to lure them out. But was the Iron Ball part of that trap? No. And that someone got snagged in our trap, so we came to the library to check, and discovered Rantaro's body. Understood. I see, so that is what happened. I was not aware you two had planned such a thing. Oh, Mio, right. <laughs> so you used those cameras I modified for this bullcrap? But you know I mean... Oh, well, yeah, I guess we didn't tell her directly, but... But why would you keep something so important a secret from us? 
<laughs> what? Once we knew one of us was the mastermind, we started fighting over who it was. That's what you two were afraid of, wasn't it? Yeah. Damn right. Good job. But... Oh, it wouldn't click for some reason. But <laughs> that's a new one. There are cameras. Won't this case be solved really easily, right? Oh man, that's so boring. Wait! Don't you dare break the camera, I swear to god. Your amusement is the least of our concerns, really, seriously. We need to check the cameras right now, thank you. Uh. Imiko, please show a little bit of emotion. The copper should be in the pictures. It'll be case closed. Then Alright, let me go get the cameras. Please don't break. Oh god, it's not gonna be that easy. Chuchi quickly retrieved all three cameras and rushed back to everyone. But if none, it's, it's, it, right? but if none of the three works, that means the killer somehow disabled all three of them at once, huh? Or maybe the killer was wearing a mask. Okay, I've got them. Well. It was hard removing the camera that Kaida set up. She really taped it down well. Well, I really don't want the camera to fall since it was aimed at the moving bookcase. Remember. Hmm. No, I'm just thinking, like, how would the vent have a play in this? Because I feel like the vent is going to be a key here. Here, it's these three cameras. Uh, now, we just have to develop the film. I will do it. Allow me to perform that task, please. I trust That's her. amazing! <laughs> of course, because she's a female. Is there anything the old man they can't do? Jeez. <laughs> Tenko is a clown, dude. I... If that's what you need, just leave it to me. I would just kick Monophony right now. Like, get the hell out of here. Huh? No. There's no rule saying that you can't kick the Monocubs, so... A devil of the photo so you bastards can focus on the investigation. Because if you guys get punished, it would be way too gory. Stop it. <laughs> Don't butt into our... But she ignored my objection walked up to shoot you... And took the cameras! Oh no, she's gonna... She's gonna erase it. Not- I'll, I'll just take it back, you- I am a strong, sensual woman. Do not underestimate me, okay. Well, Sonia is like that, though. Uh, hey, give those back! Leave it to me. No need to worry. We all have to follow the rules. We won't do anything underhanded or devious. Really? I mean, the mastermind can't kill, but there's no rule saying the mastermind can't interfere with the... No, actually, I think there was a rule like that. Never mind. So I'll let you know when I'm finished developing the photos. Wait, I... I'm... Wait, I don't get it. Sorry if I sound really stupid, but can't you just look? Like, right there? Or how do- how- wait, I, I forgot how- how disposable cameras work. You have to like, plug in a USB? No. <laughs> I don't know. I've never really used cameras, um... It was pointless to yell at her. Monophony left as swiftly as the wind. Oh my! <laughs> there she goes! Our one- our one huge evidence. Yeah, no big deal. <laughs> that was important evidence. Seriously, what the shit, dude? Sorry. I was being careless. Um... It's probably okay. She says she developed photos, didn't give photos back. Yeah, um... That's right. And she said she had to follow the rules, so I don't think she would destroy evidence. Sheesh. Hold on. I'm sorry, I, I, I need to check the rules real quick. Alright, so... Where is it? Monokuma will never directly commit murder, or... Yeah, okay. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the Mastermind or Monocubs saying that they can't, uh, you know, they can't, uh, you know, alter evidence or get rid of it anyways. Yeah, so that's possible. Looks like we've got no choice but to believe that. Uh, <laughs> Tua is watching over us. Well, he should have taken the... F I don't know. He <laughs> it's important to believe. Night Tua only shows mercy to those who believe. Well, I guess Rontaro didn't believe in Rant uh, Atua. Uh, what a damn shame. I know you're worried, but you can trust me. We just have to be patient. No. That's not all I'm worried about. I thought this whole thing would be over once we exposed the mastermind. Hmm, okay. But now, we're just in a bigger mess. 
unless we have to see through to the end. Hey, Kaede, I have a propo proposal for you. Is that all right? If it's all right with you. Can we keep working together during the trial, like we're doing now? <laughs> and everyone's gonna be like, "What are you two doing?" Huh? I'm. I know I'm just an apprentice, but I think I can help you as a detective. No, I I want to help you. Shuichi. With you at my side, it'll be like having 100 people helping me. Aww. Thank you. Oh my gosh, dude. Um... Hey, so... <laughs> I don't care about this mushy stuff, so let's just get this started already. <laughs> and try to take this seriously, okay? Out of all people, Kokichi saying that. Alright, our lives are on the line. Actually, Takes a lot of mental power to say something like that so cheerfully. What do you think? I don't think... <laughs> He doesn't give a shit about this, I'm pretty sure. Before we start, I'd like to suggest that we not investigate by ourselves. Why? But together as one. In other words. If we let the culprit work by themselves, they might try to destroy evidence, right? True. Since the culprit is one of us... <laughs> if each one of us watches the other, no one will be able to hide any evidence. My I do not intend to offer a suggestion that would further arouse suspicion, but... Logical. Yep, it is. Please speak your mind, Kirimi. Please, more often. You know what, just talk whenever you want, I don't care. It's not something you should be proud to say, but I guess we don't have a choice. After all, we don't find if we don't find out who the culprit is, we'll all be killed. True story. We have to do it. Once we expose the mastermind, we'll be able to escape. We can definitely do it! Hmm. And, investigation start. Alright, well, I guess we can't look at the camera. That's a damn shame. Where's the body? Where, how can I- oh. <laughs> Yeah, the iron ball is what got me... Oh, oh god. I... Wait, is she talking to me? I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell you this, but shouldn't we investigate Rontao's body? Uh, um... Yes! <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know why it came out like that. Yes! <laughs> we wanted to find clues, so we have to. But if it's too much for you, Kaede, you don't have to, okay? No. No, it's fine. I can do it. Alright, my mind was set, and I start to walk toward Rontao's body. Oh boy. There we go. Ooh, I like how the blood changes to blue. The last time I saw Rontaro, he was alive as well- and well, right. He was going downstairs, I saw it. Hmm. Why did Rontaro die here? Huh? What do you mean, die here? Right, cause I don't know, he-, he like, I, you would think he would die in front of the door or something. Remember? I mean, Rontaro was the one who moved the bookcase. That would mean he came all the way over here. After the bookcase opened, right. He moved away from the hidden door, to this spot. Why would he do that? Well, my guess is that he saw a camera and then he was going to the camera. But then... Again, the iron ball, I, I... And there's no trace of his body being moved. It doesn't add up. Right, I mean, there shouldn't be any footprints, because... The blood would have to be splattered first. And yeah, there's no sign of dragging the body. Are you okay? You've gone pale. Hmm? Although I guess that's normal. We have to investigate a body after all. The body of someone who was alive and talking to us just a little while ago. No. Right? It's okay, really. We just have to do our best. Not just for Rontaro's sake, but also so we can avenge him. Okay. And so we can protect everyone else. We have to defeat the mastermind who's orchestrating this whole thing. Okay. Hey! That was kind of weird. Or is that just me? I don't know. Um, Kaede, I'll help you in any way I can. I'll support you for this investigation. I'm sort of a detective after all. Jeez. Your chance to shine. Sort of? You are a detective, remember? Uh, okay. Right. Okay, finally I get to click the ball. <laughs> My god. I've been waiting like half an hour for this. A bloody shot put ball is on the ground. Could it be... The shot put ball? Could it be... Yeah, the one on the warehouse, right? Yeah. Yeah, definitely came from the warehouse on the first floor. Hmm. There's blood all over it. I wonder why. Hmm. That's the murder weapon, right? I don't see anything else that could have been used. You're right. But then either somebody threw it manually, but then the only one who would be able to throw it that hard to the point where he would Rontaro would die would be Gonta. But Gonta doesn't look like the guy who would kill, to be honest. Tenko? I mean, I know she's an Aikido master, but like... Who else is strong? Kiru uh, Kirumi could be strong, but like, nah. There's... The shot itself is heavy. You would have to be fairly strong to use it as a weapon, right? Fairly strong, huh? 
<laughs> Gunta, where are you at? Oh, that's all we get? Wow, okay. Huh, I thought they would talk about like, hmm, where did this come from? Wait, wait, is there anything else, actually? Oh, well, besides the body, obviously, but yeah. Mm. Um, I know we need to examine this body, but I'm not sure where to start. Leave it to me. Kokichi be like, the penis! Uh, uh, <clears throat> I mean, it's okay. I, I can do it. God damn it, what's wrong with me? Should we just show no hesitation as he began to examine Rantaro's body? Hmm. There's blood on the back of his head. It looks like a pretty deep wound. It's consistent with blunt force trauma. I don't see any other injuries. The Monokuma file is accurate. This must be the fatal wound. Um, so we can trust the Monokuma file? For now. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, for now. Shuichi then stuck his hand into Rantaro's pocket. Oh, oh, okay. Huh? What are you doing? Girl, that's not- that's nothing. <laughs> Man, kind of should see what Kyoko does. Holy shit. Uh, um... I'm checking what he has on this person. On this person? You mean pocket? Oh, I don't know. There might be a clue. If we're going to do this, we have to be thorough. I told you I'll support you after all. How, how can you say that with so much c confidence? What? He's just putting his hand on, on his pocket. What? You're acting like he's grabbing his crotch or something. <laughs> Come on, Kaede. Hold yourself together. Is it me? Is it just me or is like Kaede's acting a little strange? I mean, it is her first time seeing a body, but like, I don't know. Rantaro had it in his possession the key to his room and the student handbook monopad. The monopad is definitely his and it's exactly the same model as ours. Which means it can't be Sumugi, or... I mean, I don't know, I'm sorry for keep sussing Sumugi, but like... Because she's the cosplayer, I, I can't help but feel like... She could be doing something like this. Just, in, in, like, disguise, her, disguise herself as someone else. Yeah, so anyways... He didn't have a car key on him? Could it be? That's what I was thinking, but he didn't have it. And Rantaro really wasn't the mastermind. If he was the mastermind, he wouldn't have come here without the car key. Right, right. So with that, with what we know now, that is the most likely possibility. Hmm. Why was Rontaro here if he wasn't the mastermind? Good question. Maybe Rontaro knew what our plan was, and then like that was part of his plan. <laughs> I, I, I don't even. I have no idea. Rontaro's belongings. Okay, so I guess someone's gonna ask in the trial, like, oh, he could have been the mastermind, but no, you know this. All right. Are you okay? Yeah, seriously, are you okay? Like, damn. We finished investigating the body. Let's get out of here for now, okay? Sorry. Huh. Maybe hmm. she's just sensitive to dead bodies, which I don't blame her. Something's bothering me. Why did Rantaro come to the library? It seems likely that he's not the mastermind. What reason did he have for coming here? Uh I'm guessing it had something to do with, do with what Rantaro mentioned earlier. Earlier? Oh, that. It's not about outfoxing everyone in this killing game. It's about ending the game itself. Well, yeah, the, the game would have ended if he really was the mastermind. But then... If... If killing himself was a part of his plan... Then how would this end? Unless he thought like, oh, you know, once our first victim is down, the game will be over. But I, there's no way he's that naive. No. He's, he can't be. That's the real goal. No. Not when he talks like that. Hmm. Ending the game itself. Could it be... Wait, then it's possible he noticed a hidden door in the library just like we did. Oh, wait, that makes sense. Right, right, he could have got- but then, how would he have the key? So let's just pretend like Rontaro magically had the key. He would have went in, and do something to the mastermind, I guess. And then that would be the end of the game. Huh. huh. What? Uh, um, <laughs> you might have come to the same conclusion we did, that the mastermind would come here. Um... You mean, he had the same idea as us? Uh, no way, he should have told us. Right, but then he said that, oh, we can't have, like, people, like, suspecting or whatever. 
We could have worked together. But he probably wasn't sure, I'm guessing. Oh, I collapsed to the floor, crushed by the weight of my frustration. No. He probably can risk telling us. Like you said, he was suspicious of everyone, exactly. I have you, Kaiden, but Rantaro didn't have anyone he could trust. True. That might have been the only difference between me and him. Hmm. Right. As he said that, he offered me a hand. I took his hand and he firmly pulled me to my feet. Aww. <laughs> Aw, I wanted to see a scene. Aw, she's crying. Holy Remember. shit. Let's go! We can't waste time now! You're not going to give up, right? You're going to save everyone. Damn right. Shuichi? <laughs> He's right. I can't give up now. Shuichi. I feel like I can rely on you even more. Huh, it's weird. I wasn't expecting Kaede to be like this emotional just for like one kill though. Huh? Huh? <laughs> eh? I'm not even doing much. Shuichi's right. We can't give up until it's over. I can't stay depressed forever. I have to help everyone get out of here. We have to continue the investigation. We gotta find the mastermind. Hmm. Okay, what else? Wait, can we look at the vent actually? Oh, is it open? Wait. I was the one who took off the great. Oh, oh, oh. Left. Oh, oh, so she opened it already. Okay. I feel like it would have been wiser to close it though. Hmm. Hmm. And we were keeping watch in the classroom this vent leads to. I don't think the culprit came in or out through there. Yeah. That's true. Oh, that's it? Oh. Oh, I guess someone's gonna ask, oh, there's a chance that the person could have went through the vent, but like... No, we saw the cameras and didn't see anyone there. Okay. Hey, creepy dude. Um, <laughs> his eyes are just like... His eyes are so just... Just so seducing, you know what I mean? Well, if you're the ultimate detective, then you've got your eyes on the culprit, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell me who you think the culprit is. I don't mind if it's just an educated guess. I don't even know if we can do that. Oh, I want to know too. Sorry. I can't say anything yet. Not cool. <laughs> Not cool. <laughs> but there's someone you're a little bit suspicious of, right? No, there's gotta be. You know, I don't know. If I had to take a guess... No, I, I can't think of one. Like, I want to say Mew, but it's, it can't be Mew. It's just too obvious. Like... I don't know, dude. I... Huh? Ryoma? Nah, he wouldn't do it. Jeez. I don't... But you're afraid of that. You're afraid of suspecting someone, aren't you? Oh, whoa! Ryoma can actually... Yeah, because, like, Shuichi is kind of, like, afraid, right? Because of that one incident he had. Wow, that's how it looks to me. Wow, I, I feel like I feel like Ryoma could be like a really good mentor or something. I don't know. I don't know what he would mentor, but like <laughs> life lessons, I guess. But with things the way they are, wouldn't it be better for you to suspect others more? <laughs> True story. And let me just warn you: the way the world works is that those who speak win. The truth can easily be twisted. Wow. This guy, dude, this guy deserves better. Like, why Like, why did the creators make him so damn small? I don't know, I guess all his, um, all the height went to his... I guess all his, uh... I don't know. Skip this part. In order to fix a twist of truth, you need something even more powerful. Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> Be careful. I mean that testimonies without evidence are powerless. Be careful. <laughs> He's like, damn! <laughs> this guy knows how to talk! Oh, and the sprite changed? Wow. Alright, what else? The globe, oh my god. I made it like a prediction that, like, what if underneath the globe, there's like a little hole that you can go in? <laughs> That'd be so funny. It's a mysterious globe, but I don't think it has anything to do- Aww, <laughs> damn it. Alright, oh wait, the moving ladder. What does that have to do with it? The moving ladder I used to re reorganize the books on top of the bookcases. Nothing out of the ordinary here. Okay. Hmm. Find anything, Kirumi? I doubt it. Bye. Why did the culprit not step forward and take advantage of I was thinking of that as well. Good talk. Huh? What? Ben. The culprit must must have killed to survive, so it is odd that they would not step forward. 
Right, again, the only explanation I can think of is the person, the killer, for some reason wants to kill everyone else. But there's no reason for that, though. And, like, the only possible one that would have a thought like that is, uh, what's his name? Kyo. And, and that's it. Yeah. True, I wonder what that means. That's true. I can think of several possibilities, but the worst case scenario is... That's what I said! Hey, the culprit's objective wasn't to survive, it was to kill everyone here. Huh? Yeah. E everyone? That is correct. Hmm. But I wonder why the killer didn't, well, kill quicker than... Hmm. That would explain why they would forego their survival in favor of a class trial. Um... But doesn't that seem like a bit of a stretch to you? It does. Do you agree? Well, if the culprit is also the mastermind, then it's certainly plausible. Yeah. Hmm. Well, well, true. Right, but then the thing is, Monokuma, the mastermind, said, Oh, wow, you guys sure know how to keep me in suspense or whatever. So, you know, I think if it was the mastermind, then, you know, they would have done it a lot sooner. And again, mastermind can't kill, so. So we cannot lose this fight. Even on this uncharted path, we must find our way. Amen to that. All right, pervert Chan. I mean, um, Mew, what's up? Don't talk to me, crotchet! You know, that should be like Kokichi's nickname. Cock Itchy. I think I said that on the last episode, but anyways. <laughs> I'm freaking busy! You continue ignoring us while she fiddled with the controller. What? Huh? Yeah, what is that controller for? Ah. Dun 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 dun! It's a prone! Oh, that she said drone. Um. Prone? Um. I don't mean to butt in the conversation, but don't you mean drone? Oh. What? If it was a prone, it team up with the rest of the Ganglion Alliance to destroy humanity. Ganglion, um... Okay, I don't know what anime that is. I have no idea what she's talking about. <laughs> and again, I love I love her face. I love Kaede's face. She's just like... What the actual crap is going on? Like, what <laughs> is that face? Like, what is wrong with this person? Well, wait a second. The controller is... Gone? Wait, what? Haha, <laughs> now you're getting addicted. I mean, I have to admit, Mio is pretty good at uh, these words, but dick cheese. Oh God, what? She left obnoxiously and pointed her finger upward. Oh, okay. Feast your eyes on the latest creation from the gorgeous girl genius, Mio Iruma. <laughs> gorgeous girl genius. I mean, I hate to admit it, but she is kind of gorgeous. That was a drone. Oh, what? Okay. I told you that's a drone. Is she just? Oh, uh, I guess she's good at inve inventing things, but like she doesn't know what the names of them are. <laughs> if it was a drone, it'd be leading a pack of vicious monsters. What? Okay. I don't get it. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> when did you have time to make this? Right? I just now? After I made those cameras you oh. Asked for, so I modified this RC plane. Wow. What the hell? I even decked it out with a camera so it'll take perfect aerial photographs. Wait, was this before or after? Um, oh no, it, it has to be before, right. From there, I'll use the photos as a reference to draft a floor plan to help the investigation. Oh, oh, I thought she was- I, oh, okay, okay. So this is after Rontaro's death. Okay, that sucks. I was gonna say, like, can't we just use that to, like... I don't know, see who the who the killer was maybe? I don't know. This way, I get out of having to do any actual investigative legwork. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a granny. <laughs> but damn, that's impressive. Man, she can just make stuff up like that. Crazy. Drafting a floor plan with photos? I mean, it makes sense. Yeah, that's really useful for Shuichi, I bet. That's amazing. I'm sure this will help with the investigation. Out of my way. The only problem is, I'm not used to operating a drone and taking pictures with it. Jeez. You shouldn't be so proud of that, and if you don't hurry, the investigation will end soon. Bitch. Damn, I can't do shit about that, so just calm your tiny tits and shut. I don't know, man. I think I said this before, but I don't think Kaede is that... Kaede... Oh, 
Shut up, you! My chest is way better than your nasty cow udders. Let's go! Finally fighting back! <laughs> oh my god. So she's weak when she's being praised and when, you know, someone actually fights back. Okay. That's kinda- so she's literally a tsundere, okay. Kind of. Others? Others? Is she gonna get turned on? Actually. Oh good. Oh my god. Thank you. <laughs> You're a bit wimpy when someone stands up to you, huh? You're actually a complete wuss. For real. Oh, I wanted to see her reaction. Wait, what? I saw the drone thing. Yeah. Oh, I can't click on it? Aw. Oh. oh, that's really cool. I don't know why. I don't know who killed Rantaro, but his mom and Kuma's fault it happened. Because he pressured that this happened, right? That motive he gave us is a part of it, and so is that strange music, really, yeah. Hmm, I wonder if that music can, like... Terrible. I don't know, somehow manipulate someone. Like Junko's despair app thing, or I don't know. He played that music at such high volume to make us feel sick and want to kill. Really? I mean, it was creepy, but like... I thought I'd go crazy, really. I can't believe it. Hmm. I bet someone felt pressure by that and killed Rantaro. It's all Monokuma's fault. Um. I mean, I don't know. I thought Kaede would agree because she literally said that before. This is all Monokuma's fault. So why is Kaede just silent? Or am I just overthinking this? Like, I, I don't know. Anyway, we have to stop the mastermind, so this is the last murder that ever happens here. We just have to. Hmm, how is this gonna play out? Okay. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, besides the bookcase, I guess. I don't think I don't think there's anything out of the ordinary. Tons of books are crammed into the bookcase, okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like anything changed. Remember. The books that you stacked up haven't moved either. Oh, you mean the ones I stacked to keep people from going through the vent? Yeah, those have been left alone. Right. Oh, that was a triplet? Wow. Right, so there's no evidence that anyone used the vent. Right. But then, <laughs> watch like somehow the killer did. Rear su- what? Wait, what is this? This is the rear door. It's the furthest door from the stairs and leads to the hallway. Wait, there's two doors? I didn't know that. By the way, this is a sliding door, see? It opens when you slide it. No way! <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> yeah, I saw that. Um, mm -hmm. You think Rantaro entered through this door? Uh, um, I can't say for sure until we get those pictures back from the Monocups. Which I hope is today! <laughs> You're right, we'll just have to wait. Wait, are there two doors or one? Because I, I can't see like behind me, but... If there are two, then... Hmm... Nah, I already saw that. The moving bookcase is closed right now, so the hidden door is currently out of sight. You guys set up a security sensor on top of this bookcase, right? Uh, okay. It should still be there, let me check. Is it gone? Nah, it can't be. Shuichi climbed up the ladder and looked on top of the moving bookcase. Oh, it's still there. Okay, good. It's still here. I should take it down now. Oh. Removing it is fine, but won't your receiver go off when you move it? No. I turned the receiver off. Okay. <laughs> you can turn it off? Okay. Yes, I made sure to switch it off on the way down here. I thought the mastermind could still be inside. And I don't want to alert them. Oh, okay. That makes sense. I see. Smart thinking. Okay, so uh God damn it, what's his name? Ryoma. I don't know why I keep I keep forgetting. Ryoma was uh asking you can turn it off. Okay. So I'm guessing someone's gonna ask, oh, you know, then wouldn't the alarm ring and like, I don't know. We could have hear, we could have heard the thing, but no, okay. I think that's everything, isn't it? I feel like I'm missing something. Of course I am. That always happens. Oh, there's the other door. <laughs> okay, okay. It's the front door that leads directly to the basement stairs. Okay. We went through this door before we discovered Rantaro's body. Okay. Hmm. We entered the library through here with Kaito and Tenko. Okay. Huh. Okay, so I feel like the rear door is going to be a key... Is going to be key here. 
Because the rear rear door is like it has the perfect angle to actually like throw the ball at Rontaro too. Like you can just open the door and just throw it from the outside. Huh. Yeah. But the camera would have had a, gotten the perfect perfect angle to take the pick too. Yeah, we saw the moving bookcase close, and then when we ran over, That's true. we found Rontaro's body behind that bookcase. Hmm. Mm. I wonder if Rontaro's entered through the same door as we did. I don't... Hmm, I don't know. I feel like the killer went through the rear, but then Rontaro went through the front? But then how did... How come no one saw those two go away? Like, like separate from them? Because everyone was supposed to go to the game room. Oh my gosh. Maybe the Mastermind did too. That's... When we see the pictures after the Monocups develop them, that will be clear. If they give it to us without changing the evidence or anything. Like they say they would, or they wouldn't. I guess all we can do is wait. Hmm. And that's everything, I think. What? There's more? What am I missing? The vent I did, yeah, okay. The monitor? I know it turned off. The time limit to start the killing game almost expired, but then the countdown stopped and then obnoxious noise went away too. I don't know what would have happened if the time limit had expired. Well, we all die. <laughs> Oh, I haven't talked to Shuichi yet. Okay. Um. Hey, Kaede, do you remember what we said when we came in here? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. I'm sorry. Um. What? I keep forgetting the conversations. We saw the moving bookcase close on its own, right? Oh, that's what you meant. I thought you said, "What did we say?" Mm. Oh, what we saw. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry. No one even touched this. So how did that happen? I thought, like, the mastermind, like, slid the card and then went inside. I thought that's that was the case. I'm, I'm, I'm just surprised, like, these two are, can't, aren't thinking about that. Hmm. Actually, it has to do with how the bookcase works. Huh? Shuichi moved the bookcase to reveal the hidden door. And then everyone's like, whoa! Hmm. Is that alright? Yeah, I don't see anything out of the ordinary. Take a look at this. If I let go of the bookcase... He let go of the bookcase, and after waiting for a bit, it closes? Okay. It closed on its own! Okay. The bookcase is set up like an automatic door. It closes after a period of time. It makes perfect sense when you think about it. Yeah, because if it didn't, then yeah, you wouldn't be able to put the bookcase back after you went inside, right? I see. So the book bookcase has to close on its own once you go through the hidden door. Okay, yeah, that is actually a pretty good trip bullet right there. But wait! <laughs> if the bookcase closes itself after you enter the hidden door... Yeah? Oh! Maybe the reason why the bookcase closed itself was because the mastermind was hiding just past... Thank you, finally. Okay. You're right. After killing Rontaro, they ran through the hidden door. It certainly is possible, right? Let's check that. Let's check it. How? Huh? Yeah, how do we check it? Remember. The dust in the card reader, remember? Speaking of which, we should have told everyone to take out their, like, th like, let me see your pockets, right? Shuichi moved the bookcase again to reveal the hidden door once more. Oh yeah, he put the dust again. Right, right, I remember. It should be clean, right? Then... Alright, let's see. We leaned in to get a closer look at the gap of the card reader. Huh? The dust is still there. What? You're right. It looks like the card reader wasn't used. That means the mastermind didn't hide here. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense because all 16 students were present in the library. Unless if, like, inside the hidden door there's a way out, and then came in together. Like how Aoi Asahina did <laughs> in Trigger Happy Havoc. Um, hmm. What if the master Mastermind replaced the dust after they used the re card reader? No, I don't think so. No. That's a stretch. I remember exactly where I put the dust. Wow! <laughs> this hasn't been moved at all. Okay. I think it's safe to assume the Mastermind did not go through this door. Um. Wow. And the one who moved the moving bookcase at the time was... Rontaro. Right, Rontaro opened it, but then... Right, didn't have the... Okay. 
Rontaro himself? It had to be. No. I can't say for sure. Really? What? What's the other possibility? Well, no more when we get the pictures back. <laughs> if we get the pictures back, god damn it! Oh my god, dude! What? Why couldn't we? Like, I would have trusted Kirumi way more. Like, I don't even. <sighs> There's a chance that someone else was hiding here. Wait, someone else was hiding here? How? Without the card reader, how would you hide in there? What? I see. Well, I still think the mastermind is the culprit. Um. Really? So we just need to find the clues that can connect us to the mastermind. It's not the mastermind, Kaidik. Please, like, read the rules. <laughs> we'll end the killing game that way too. <laughs> She's just like, is she dumb? <laughs> no, 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 I'm just kidding. Kaidik, I think we've inve investigated the entire library now. Um. And we still got ways to go, I bet. But we still don't know anything yet. I feel like we didn't get any closer to the mastermind. Right. The most important piece of evidence will be those photos. Seriously, if... <laughs> Once we get those. But then again, we can't just say that and do nothing. Let's keep investigating what we can. Mm. Keep investigating? I guess we can investigate like the game room, perhaps. That's true. Yes, I think we should collect alibis. Right, Tenko and uh, Kaito. We need to verify where everyone was during the time frame when Rontaro was killed. 9-10pm. If that's the case, then who should we question? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason, like, that photo is just, like, like funny to me. <laughs> it, it, it looks like one of those photos where like, ah, screw this, I'm out. <laughs> kind of photo. <laughs> uh, I don't know. The six people that went down to the basement with Rontaro. Right, I did not see Kokichi. I did not see Ryoma. I did not see Kirumi. I don't see... Oh, oh I, I don't see Kiro... I, I don't see Kyo. Hmm. The six people that went down to the basement with Rontaro, Kaito, Gonta, Maki, Tengi, Tenko, Angie, and Himiko. Let's talk about them first. Really? I thought... I thought, I, I, I thought it would be better to talk with um, ones they haven't seen. Hmm. They should have been in the game room along with Rontaro. But Rontaro's right there, though. Like, he was literally the last guy that should have went downstairs. Like, if he was the first guy to go downstairs, that would be a bit more, uh, that bit, bit easier to predict what happened, but... Let's ask them about what happened here, there. Alright, let's go find them. For now, let's head to the game room. Oh, yeah, there we go. Perfect. Okie dokie. Man. I'm actually really enjoying this, this investigation. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad. Well, I guess it's good. Only Maki's here? Oh, that's strange. Well, I think I'm gonna end it here today. Um, so today we, well, began our investigation. And, well, finished the library. Now... <sighs> oh my gosh. It, it, it's been a while since I felt like this, where you have no idea what the hell is going on. But, I might be thinking too hard on this, but I don't know. It, 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 like, Kaede's acting a little strange, isn't she? Hmm. Like, I, I know that, you know, it's a dead body, but like, the part where she didn't say anything when Sumugi was like, this is all Monokuma's fault, and she didn't say anything, she was like, she was like this. As if she knows that it's not Monokuma. But then later on, she says, the mastermind has to be the culprit. So I'm like, wait, what's going on here? Or is she is she just like that terrified of Rontaro's dead body? Eh, I don't know. But then again, again, I'm probably thinking too hard. Um, so I don't know, maybe... I, I just feel like Kaiden knows something, but just won't tell us for some reason? I, I don't know, but... Also, the other thing is, like, the li uh, the the hidden door somehow had the dust dust on. But the only explanation I can think of is Rontaro was trying to open the door. So, like, maybe while the door was opening, Rontaro stepped out of the way so that the door would open and he, he can go inside. But, like, but then the iron, like, the iron ball is the problem. Like, I don't know where that came from. Like, did somebody throw it? Or like, was it like a trap? Like once the camera activates, the ball just like shoots from somewhere? 
The only one I can like I can think of who can do that is like Mew, but again, I feel like that's too obvious though. So I have no clue. Hopefully in the next episode we finish our investigation and begin our first class trial. And I'm hoping that, you know, they added some new mechanics to the trial. So, you know, looking forward to that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, or subscribe. I always appreciate it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.